Henry the Weeder Man, I'm back with this Craftsman 1980-1983 vintage chainsaw. What I've done now is I put the keyway back on. You want to make sure that is incorrectly and it's flush. Sometimes it'll be at an angle and it won't start. So the key looks good. Got my piston stop in all the way. My piston's all the way up against it, which is nice. Flywheel should slide right on. Boom, hit the keyway first time. This one here had a washer behind it. Had a washer behind the nut. If you're not sure what you're doing, take pictures of it. I take pictures and videotape all this for a good reason. Now I'll hand start this all the way down, make sure it's done, and I'll get my impact tool and uh, get my socket, and then I'll tighten this down. I snug these down fairly tight. I'm sure there's a torque somewhere. Somebody knows about the torque spec, but um, from my experience, you don't want to over tighten them. You'll pop the nut threads or you'll pop the threads on the clutch side of the crank and then you're out of luck. So I just tighten these down nice and snug. I'll check it a couple times. I'll run it and recheck it again. All right, that's installed flywheel. That's all I'm going to do on this for now. I'm waiting for seals for the pump in. And I didn't change the gap on the coil, which I checked it. It was 10. I used my 10 thousandths gauge. Checked it. Perfect. Dead on the money. I'll tighten this up so it's ready to go. Henry the Wiener Man out. 1980-1983 Craftsman. Vintage Saw coming back to life.